So most of you watching this video are already familiar about the Blink IoT platform and many of us including me has started their own IoT journey using this platform only. And for some of you who don't know what actually a Blink platform is then Blink is a low code IoT platform in which you just need to write a basic code in Arduino IDE and you are good to go to send and receive data over internet. Not only that Blink also provide its own mobile application and web dashboard to interact with our IoT devices. And now Blink has launched launched a new feature using which making your IoT projects will be a lot more easier than before. That feature is called as Blueprints. Now the name itself tells everything about it but still let me explain what actually a Blink Blueprint is. Blueprint is a pre-built IoT project template that includes a web and mobile dashboard, firmware examples and a step-by-step -step tutorial to activate and start using the project. Now if I explain this in a simple terms then it is a Blink template which is already configured for a particular application and a particular device. And not only you get the pre-built template in Blueprint but you'll also get a ready to upload code and a pre-configured mobile and web dashboard. Means you literally need to do couple of steps and you are ready to make your own IoT project under 5 minutes which can be controlled using mobile and web dashboard. How awesome it is right? Well this new feature is still in beta version so we have a limited number of blueprints but we can definitely expect a lot more blueprints for different application and different development boards in future. So in this video I'll be talking about how to use Blink blueprints to go from zero to a complete project within couple of minutes. Let's get started. This video is sponsored by LTM and they came up with an amazing product called as LTM 365. So LTM 365 is an electronics product design platform that unites PCB design, MCAD, data management and teamwork. So with LTM 365 you can do the PCB designing task, you can share your projects over web for review purposes, it do cover sharing your PCB file to mechanical team so that they can create the mechanical product package based on your PCB. Then it also provides centralized cloud storage so you don't need to rely on one single computer for your files. It also helps you with managing your components and get real time supply chain data for your components. It also allows multiple people to work on single project and in the end it also helps you with sending your design to final manufacturing units. So LTM 365 takes care of all other tasks so you put more time and effort in making something creative and useful. And the good part is you can try out its free version as well. I'll leave its free trial version link down in the description of this video so do check that out. And now let us start with this video. Now let's start with how to use blueprints in Blink. For that you have to go to blink.cloud uh, website and here you need to make your account. I already made my account and in my account I have uh, one device added called as AIO V3. And if I open my smartphone application, as you can see, AIO V3 is also added in my uh, mobile dashboard. Okay, so this is only one device I have. Now, let's see uh, how to use the blueprint. For that, you need to go to the template section, and here you will be able to see one new option called as blueprint, which is in a beta version, which I discussed at the beginning of this video. Here, if you go to all blueprints, you'll find six blueprints, but in future, we may be able to see many more blueprints. Okay, and here, all the blueprints are made for a specific board for example this is made for this particle board this is for the ESP32 board and for ESP32 we have as of now three different blueprints and this blink LED with ESP32 is the most basic blueprint so let's start with this one so I'll click on this blueprint and here you can see the complete guide about how to use it okay so what I'll do is I'll guide you everything through this video only rather than going through everything line by line you can just click on a uh, use blueprint option and here I got the error called as template limit reached okay Okay, so I need to delete a couple of templates. So what I'll do, I'll delete this template and uh, okay, now we'll go to blueprints and I'll click on this and I click on use blueprint once again. And as you can see, it started configuring the blueprint. Now here you can click on read the tutorial to see how to use it and how to upload the code and everything. And once you go through that, you can just click on activate new device and it will ask for the SID name and password of your Wi-Fi router. So I'll click, uh, I'll give the SID name for my Wi-Fi router and the password for the same. 
okay and click on generate authentication token and it will automatically generate an auth token for your blink project when you click on next button you will be able to see a ready-made code specifically for esp32 with your wi-fi credentials and blink credentials already written on it as you can see this is the complete code i haven't written any single line in it yet okay so i can simply copy this code i can open up ird no ide i can paste that code here and now what i need to do is i just need to select the right board and right com board which is already selected and i just need to click on the upload button okay so it will be uploaded into my esp to do it take it v1 board so just wait for uh, the code to get uploaded okay so here the code is successfully uploaded and when i go back to the blink dashboard uh, as you can see it already created the web dashboard for me and uh, here i can click on this on off button and as you can see the blue led on board is turning on and off i hope you are able to see it okay so i'm controlling this with the help of the web dashboard and i haven't done any single configuration not only that if i show you my mobile dashboard then i haven't added anything in mobile yet but still uh, with the help of the blueprint one new device got automatically added called as esp uh, led esp32 then i can able you no know, i can control the same built in led using the mobile dashboard as well and everything was completely configured automatically with the help of the blueprint that's the power of blueprint in which you just need to provide your credentials and select the project type that you want to use and it will create everything for you straight from coding to web dashboard, to mobile dashboard configurations, everything for you. So that was very basic blueprint. And with this, you must have got the idea about what actually a blueprint is and how to use it. But still, let's try with another example in which we can provide the Wi-Fi credentials over mobile application rather than hard coding it using the Arduino ID code. Let me show you that blueprint. So here, first of all, we'll go to the template section, then into all blueprints. And here is that blueprint that will help us to send the census data. Not only that, we can provide the Wi-Fi credentials over a mobile application that is Blink mobile application. Okay, so let's just try out this blueprint. I'll click on this and I'll click on use blueprint. So it is setting up all the configurations and dashboards and everything for us. And yeah it has done all the things here and now we'll click on activate new device you can of course read the tutorial if you want to read all these steps but don't worry i'll guide you here everything about this template so here as you can see we are not allowed to provide the wi-fi credentials in this because it is not hard coded we'll be providing the credentials using mobile application later on so here you just need to copy these template id and uh, the template name that is automatically generated then uh, you need to click on the download zip button which will download the code generated by this a blink blueprint okay after that i'll go to my download section and here is that weather station uh, code and i'll open this code so here is the code and i will just replace this with the two things which i copied from this particular page after pasting this thing we are good to go to upload this code so i'll click on the upload button it will be uploaded to my esp to do it dev kit v1 board and till the code gets uploaded let me tell you that i made the connections of my esp to board the dht21 sensor and the bmb280 sensor according to this connection diagram Okay, so the code is successfully uploaded. I'll open the serial monitor and uh, here, as you can see, it initialized the DST sensor, it initialized the BMP sensor as well, and it started running the Blink services. Now, let's go back to the Blink dashboard and here, let's just click on firmware uploaded. Now, here it shows one QR code that we need to scan using our mobile application. So, I'll take my smartphone and I'll open the QR code scanner. Now, you need to scan this QR code using your camera application only. Okay, I'll scan it and... Uh, it redirected me to the Blink application. It says, check that your device is powered and ready to be connected. Yes, my device is powered on. So I'll click on the start button. It asked me to join the access point created by this ESP32 board. Click on the join button and device is getting ready. So every everything is like straightforward. You just need to follow the steps shown on the web dashboard and the mobile dashboard and you're good to go to make your IoT projects. So now it will uh, search for the nearby Wi-Fi networks and it uh, recognized a couple of Wi-Fi networks around ESP32 board, okay? And if I go to serial monitor, as you can see, the commands are running in ESP32 board itself. So I'll join the Wi-Fi router of my studio. I'll give the password for it and uh, click on the continue button and the credentials are received by our ESP32 board and it started sending the data as well. Now let's wait for the dashboard. I'll click on the finish button and here is the dashboard. So I got the data of the temperature sensor, the humidity sensor, the pressure sensor and the altitude sensor as well. And I can go to the historical data to see the graphs of all the data. Okay, so everything was completely done by the blueprints 
not only the mobile dashboard but if i show you the web dashboard then here is my web dashboard and all the widgets are automatically added automatically arranged by the blueprint and now in case you want to change the wi-fi credentials inside your esp32 board where the process is very simple you just need to press and hold the boot button for more than 10 seconds it will reset all the configurations and then you can uh, provide the credentials using the blink application once again so that was all about the blueprint so it's kind of pre-configured with all the settings for a particular project for a particular development board of course there are only six blueprints as of now but in future it will definitely increase so you may be able to see the blueprint for home automation projects blueprint for gps tracker projects blueprint for uh, door lock like iot door lock projects and many many more uh, but this will be much more interesting when we like the community members are allowed to publish their own blueprints like just for example if i make a project using this blink dashboard or blink cloud and in case you want to replicate it I can publish my blueprint on the platform and you can use that blueprint and without doing any single configuration, you can directly use that blueprint and make your project within a couple of minutes. So that will be more awesome and more useful. So that is my suggestion to the Blink people uh, to add the community uh, thing, like community members can add their own blueprints on the platform, which will be much more useful for every makers, every engineer, everyone. So yeah. That was the new feature added by Blink and I thought why not to make a video about explaining this new feature. How was this feature according to you? Definitely share your thoughts down in the comments of the video. Is it useful? It is not useful. Any suggestion, any thoughts that you are having, you can put down in the comments of the video. And if you liked it, press a uh, thumbs up to this video, which will tell YouTube algorithm that this video is worth watching and it will share this video with all the IoT enthusiasts in the world. And yeah. That was it about this video. Do subscribe our channel for more such interesting videos about the new and latest things happening in the IoT industry. And yeah, that being said, I am sending this video here and now. Just wait for my next video and then explore, learn, share with me. Techie SMS.